Right, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a headphone in for a reason because we're going to be listening to Alec Baldwin's uh, sort of New Year's message, but not his New Year's message. It was a very strange thing that he posted to Instagram. But the last update we had on Alec Baldwin and the Rust shooting scenario was his phone. He had a warrant out for his phone, didn't he? Well, ladies and gents, that phone still has not been given to detectives. So what I want to do is take a look at that article first, which actually was released yesterday. The LA Times uh, released the article indicating that he had not submitted his phone. And then I want you to listen to his video because he professes to want the truth and yet he is not uh, giving up his phone for that investigation. He's halting the investigation. So let's take a look, ladies and gents. The detectives still seek Alec Baldwin's cell phone in the Rust shooting investigation. Yeah. Uh, this has been ongoing for quite some time, actually. Uh, the warrant has been out for his phone uh, since December 16th. So quite a long time. He has been purposely evading giving his cell phone up. Now, I just want to take this time just really, really quick, ladies and gents, to say, hey, if you enjoy the content, hit that thumbs up button. Please do subscribe and turn the bell notifications on to all because it really does go a long way to helping out the channel, especially in January. January is a really weird time on YouTube, so please do do that. Uh, and if you enjoy what I do here, then follow me for more takes over on Twitter at Mr. H Reviews, as well as my Instagram at Mr. H Reviews. But anyway, let's dive into this, shall we? So the New Mexico law enforcement officers have solicited help from New York authorities because, uh, yeah, he has not given up his phone. So they need New York authorities to retrieve Alec Bolton's phone in the Rust shooting investigation because it's been three weeks that they've had this warrant out to search his phone and he has not given it up. So they now have to, they, they have to ask New York authorities to help. Utter, utter... It's just ridiculous. Uh, Santa Fe County Magistrate Judge David Segura on December 16th authorized a search warrant allowing law enforcement to search Alec Baldwin's iPhone for evidence that may prove valuable to their investigation into the October 21st fatal shooting of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of the low-budget Western film Rust. But so far that hasn't happened, officials said this week, and they stated the following. The Sheriff's Office does not have physical possession of the phone. The phone is in New York with Mr. Baldwin. But remember, ladies and gents, remember, he really, really wants justice. He really wants this investigation and the truth. Yeah, all right. Baldwin has a home in the Hamptons in Suffolk County, uh, New York. So New Mexico First Judicial District Attorney Mary Carmack Altwee, Santa Fe County's top law enforcement officer who is overseeing the case said in a statement Thursday that her office and sheriff's investigators are actively working with the Suffolk County, New York Sheriff's Department and Mr. Baldwin's lawyers within jurisdi jurisdictional constraints to obtain any materials from Mr. Baldwin's phone that may pertain to the Rust investigation. So the search warrant issued by Segura was enforceable only in New Mexico, according to local authorities, right? So I get that. That's fine. Like, I understand. But still, this is a man that's been taken to Instagram, bleeding his heart out as if, well, yeah, uh, saying that he wants the truth and, and, and just twisting everyone around his little finger. So law enforcement officials have been scrutinizing the actions of Baldwin, an actor and producer who fired the prop gun during a rehearsal. Prop just means property, by the way, just as an FYI, it's just it's uh, industry language. As well as assistant director David Halls, who was in charge of safety on the set, and the producer's 24-year-old armor, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, who was responsible for the gun's ammunition and gun safety. Baldwin's rep representatives were not immediately available Friday for comment, so they haven't replied to anything yet. Uh, it's unclear why... The veteran actor and star of Rust has not voluntarily turned over his phone. Earlier in the investigation, Santa Fe County Sheriff's investigators retrieved cell phones belonging to Gutierrez, Reed and Halls. Both individuals voluntarily turned over their phones to sheriff's investigators without a search warrant, according to their respective attorneys. Now, I understand, ladies and gents, they have to get warrants. And I understand 
you don't want to you know potentially put yourself up for uh, any uh, sort of unwarranted scrutiny and things like that i get it but they now have that search warrant yes it might not be enforceable in new york but yeah they wanted the phone bolden's attorney said get a warrant they've got on warrant now they they've not bothered, he's not bothered to give up the phone it does seem like a bit of an obstruction of justice right now uh, Baldwin told ABC News anchor George Stephanopoulos that he pointed the vintage Colt 45 replica at Hutchins because they were rehearsing a scene. All this, uh, we've, we've heard this before. Um, but Carmack Holtwees is now expected to decide whether to bring charges against Baldwin or crew members in the next few months. So hopefully that's going to happen soon. Um, but they want to go through text messages, emails and uh, contacts, browser history, private messaging uh, on social media as well as his recent call list. So, yeah... But alas, he will not give it up. So in the affidavit for the search warrant, Hancock wrote that she had requested Alex's phone from him as well as his attorney and was instructed to acquire a warrant. The detective wrote that there were several emails and text messages sent and received regarding the production that she wanted to inspect. So they're pretty on it about what they want. Uh, Hancock noted that any information obtained was un that was unrelated to the rush shooting investigation would be sealed and later destroyed. So loads of people that are like, oh, well, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna put himself in it for other things. Well, they can't. They're not allowed. Sealed and destroyed. But ladies and gents, remember, this is what he, he posted this six days. Another chance to let go of anything that is hurting and destroying us. Let's listen to this utter, utter nonsense crap from Mr. Baldwin. And it is, it's all a front. He's an actor, this is acting. Um, I was at a coffee shop here on Long Island and uh, having lunch with a friend of mine and uh, a young woman, you know, like a senior in high school or she, maybe she was in college, I couldn't really tell. She walked by with a guy. She was with a guy her age, and he, and she handed me a packet of Splenda. And in along the perimeter of the package, where there was uh, a, a modest amount of space to write on, she wrote me a note on both sides of the package, and um, it was all you know. So many people care about you or something, you know what I mean? It was like really very, very kind and very thoughtful and very, <clears throat> just just really so amazing that she handed me this Splenda packet. And I was like, oh, thank you. And Not really buying that. She left and I, she was on her way out when she gave it to me. And I was sitting there and, uh, I I took it home and I, I, I was going to photograph it. I was going to screenshot it uh, on both sides. She wrote on both sides of the package. I was going to screenshot it. And then I lost it. Oh, I lost it. How convenient. How convenient. <laughs> Couldn't make this shit up. Also, side note, sure that person would then take to his Instagram and go like, oh, it was me. No. Come on now, behave. Anyone that believes this, you're a moron. I had it in one of my pockets. I'm so overwhelmed. I wonder if I put it somewhere to make it safe. And I don't remember where. Uh, I searched for it yesterday. <clears throat> like you would search for your keys or your phone or your wallet. I was obsessed with finding this. I'm still obsessed with finding it because I want to screenshot it. I doubt a packet like that's going to last. Um very long but um, uh, if you are the young woman that gave me the Splenda packet at uh, John Pappas uh, the other day then send me a message here because I'm very grateful to you that was so lovely and I that meant so much to me it meant a lot to me um <clears throat> And then um, my sister Jane had a friend of hers, uh, the guy's daughter, I'm gonna find this for you, hold on one second. His daughter, um, 
Her name is, uh, uh, we contacted his, her father, and he said it was cool <clears throat> to mention her um, on this post. Her name is Addison, and she wrote me a note, and my sister Jane sent it to me, and uh, the note says, um, Dear Mr. Baldwin, I am so sorry for what has happened and for what you are going through. There what? Why is everyone so sorry for Mr. Baldwin? I mean, yeah, of course it can't be nice that he, you know, he, he murdered someone. But I mean, at the end of the day, surely the the apology sh and, and the, the heartfelt sorrow should be going out to Helena Hutchins' family. No? Where is... Why? What? I genuinely don't believe this. I mean, I know people are mental. But do, do, does this have any semblance of... Ugh. There are lots of people thinking of you and praying for you. We'll praying for what? You and the other families involved in our thoughts and prayers. Sincerely, Addison D. And here is her. Uh, here is her um, note, and there's the copy. And then she, at the bottom, is there a kind of enlargement? At the bottom, she wrote this bird. <coughs> And uh, that's in my computer, so I'm going to save that forever. Um, I mean, I've had more people who have been kind and thoughtful and um, generous of spirit than I've had, um, you know, people who are malignant about um, uh, the death of Helena Hutchins. I'm not afraid to say that. And to couch that in some euphemism, some, somebody died very tragically. And um, uh, and and I've gotten so much, I mean, so much um, goodwill from people. It's just incredible. And and and, and you know, a, 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 a kind of alarming amount of, uh, of the other stuff. But I, I'm not a New Year's resolution person. <clears throat> I rarely. <clears throat> have the ability to uh, change my behavior in terms of resolutions. Like, oh, I'm going to give up smoking, you know. I gave up smoking um, when I got married to my wife. I mean, she's a pretty much of a health nut, and I never was much of a smoker anyway, but I'd light up a couple, when I, well, usually when I was working, because I'm so nervous when I'm shooting to get the job done, and I, I'm always a little bit, stressed out about that so I would always smoke a couple cigarettes a day when I was shooting or you know just stupid behavior I don't drink I gave that up a long time ago uh, but New Year's resolutions like to don't use bad language and you know uh, uh, learn how to use a gun Food resolutions. I'm not going to. I'm going to eat less of this or give up dairy or whatever. Uh, I try. I've I've tried, but now at, at my age, I'm like you know. Um, I, I think I'm not doing too bad, uh, except in one department. And um, the uh, the other things that I do or don't do, I'm I resign myself to the fact that um, I'm still going to eat pizza and peanut M&Ms and, you know, things I shouldn't be eating. But, um, but I'm doing better. I'm doing better. But the one thing I do want to consider very carefully in this coming year and to, and to really, really push myself is in terms of trying to not uh, allow the negativity in my life to affect me. Oh, it's just a bloody pity party, for God's sake, Baldwin. To affect me. I've been having some very interesting phone calls with some very interesting people who I will not name, but some of them rather well-known people who are who deal in all kinds of behavioral, philosophical, religious, spiritual, meditation, 
uh, all kinds of uh, ways to attain a state of mind where you really short circuit a lot of the negative in your life. You can't ignore this, Baldwin. It's not going to go away. And that's what I want. I. This has been surely the worst situation I've ever been involved with. <clears throat> And I'm very hopeful that um, the people in charge with investigating this whole thing get to the truth as soon as possible. And they would. They would get there as soon as possible if you gave them your phone. No one wants the truth more than I do. Why are you not giving them your phone then? Um, and uh, But aside from all that, I, I, I feel like we live in a world where where, as someone said to me the other day, uh, everything is good and bad. We, we make the world into good and bad because uh, it's easy for us. I'm quoting somebody who I won't name their name yet till I get permission from him. But he said, I, I've never met a bad person. I met people who are, to varying degrees, traumatized and... Um, what an absolute pile of total nonsense, ladies and gents. Truly, total, absolute nonsense. And it really is. Absolute nonsense. Sitting around there going, oh, I've never met someone that's a bad person. Now, shut up. I want to get to the bottom of this. Shut up. You haven't. You've not given them your phone. <sighs> Honestly. Like, I'm looking through the transcript to see if there's anything else. I don't think there is. I just cannot understand it. Yeah, he just said, My goal in the new year is peace, awareness, consciousness, deepening my relationships with the people that I love, pulling them closer, and improving relationships with people I care about. I mean, oh my God. You ever met a more self-righteous douche canoe? This guy's really starting to piss me off. Like, I've been covering this situation for quite some time now. And at each step, this guy has just virtue signaled, talked absolute nonsense, performed for the camera. That's another performance right there. I'd love to hear any and all of your thoughts. Drop them down below. Again, follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. H Reviews. Thank you so much. Take care.